What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode in Friends. Yeah, it's that time again. We have another, I think this is, it's either a metal print or a canvas print that we are going to review. Now friends, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, do some of the fine print right now. Uh, as you may know, each year for the last four years, we have a, well, we have a canvas print shootout. We have a metal print shootout. In 2023, we're gonna have our first acrylic print shootout. Now at the end of uh, each year that we do these things, now actually, let me take a step back further. If you've not seen any of these, so what we do is we go out and we actually test out a bunch of canvas companies, a bunch of metal print companies. And this year we're gonna do a bunch of acrylic print companies. And the whole premise behind this is, over the years, we've heard a lot of horror stories from photographers uh, who go to Google and type in best metal print or best canvas print, and then they see a website out there that is listing a list of companies or listing a list of companies, a bunch of companies that they claim to be the best metal print, canvas print. But when you take a look at these lists and so forth, they haven't really touched any prints from that particular company. All they are is just regurgitating affiliate links that whoever's paying them the most. So, which isn't fair for you. So we do things a little bit different here. I'm going to crack open these prints. I'm gonna share things I like from the packaging down to the frame, the colors, everything inside of it. And you're going to see everything unfold in real time. Not real time, but you're gonna see it on camera here. So anyway, the whole premise behind this is if you decide to go out there and spend your hard earned money on a particular print from that particular company, well, you have a good idea as far as what your dollar is going to get. Now, I do wanna say, uh, this is not part of the 2023, this is either a canvas or metal print. I'm not sure what it is. This past week, I have a bunch of boxes here. So at the end of each season, what we do is we open up the doors and say, hey, if there's a particular brand, uh, or company that we missed that you would like us to consider for the following year, let us know, we'll consider. And then what I do is as we're kind of warming up towards getting the year going, I'm gonna start, I start ordering prints from these particular companies and just to kind of gauge and see, get an idea of who the heck these people are, who these companies are. So this is another example. This is actually the label says it right here, pure artprinter.com. So this print is inside of here. So what we're gonna do here in a moment, we're gonna crack this sucker open. Again, this is not part of the whatever shootout, whether it's a metal or a canvas print in here. Again, I, I can't recall what, what the hell it is in here, but so we're gonna take a look at this together and we're going to judge this the same as we would part of the shootouts. So we'll determine uh, whether this company has the chops to join the, the shootout this year. But of course, before we dive into all the goodness, uh, look, we put these videos together to help you make more informed decisions in this particular case, whether a canvas print, metal print, uh, is suitable for your needs. Now, of course, you find some value value with these videos friends look we've been doing these for a long time we would greatly appreciate your support by hitting that like button down below it really does help with the whole youtube algorithm that side my friends uh hey it's time yeah come on pull up a seat and let's go Okay, so let's grab a pair of scissors here, crack this thing up. Now, what I will say to these guys is they really identify this is fragile. Do not drop red. It's a neon. And they tape the heck out of this. Oh, actually, I just noticed the fragile, everything is on both sides. That is a nice touch. Now, as I'm opening this, I'm gonna kind of jibber jabber a little bit about why I'm a stickler with how things are packaged. Now, if you've seen these videos before, you know I bring up an every single one. UPS, FedEx, DHL. Look, especially around the holiday seasons, they have their seasonal employees and these people are drop kicking your package from wherever it's printed from to wherever it's going. Now. Not always, but we see the horror stories and so forth. And so whatever is inside of here has got to be prepared for worst case scenario. So, which means if you have a canvas print, canvas prints I think are more subjectable to what I'm talking about because they shimmy around and I've noticed that 
I'm not gonna lie, I didn't make it. It was sticking to my finger. <laughs> Canvas prints, I think, are more subject subjectable, and they'll shimmy around, and what you'll notice is if they are not packaged correctly, they'll get these white kind of spots on there, and that's where the ink has rubbed through onto the canvas, and it looks really bad. So, at any rate, you want this to be packaged to be ready for just about anything. So, as we're cracking this open, so we've seen this before, this pot, this box here has kind of just kind of wrapped itself around the print. I like this already. So we have a piece of cardboard on top. Actually, some very heavy bubble wrap. Oh, this is a metal print. Okay, this is really, okay. This is, I love this packaging. And look, on the other side, we have more bubble wrap. So this thing is really well packaged together. Not only do they have front and rear fragile stickers in multiple colors, might I add. Uh, then they have bubble wrap on both sides. And on top of that, you'll if you've watched some of my videos before, you'll find these sort of inserts, I think, are some of the best. Because what it does is it recess, it holds the print inside so it can take side damage or side kicks and still have kind of a buffer of space. This, padding right here and then on top of that the other cardboard piece that was on top of here just really protects us from the impact zone on the side and then you have the other cardboard piece that was on top with the bubble wrap so this thing this thing's ready for you know, it's funny because i was gonna say somebody stepping on it but believe it or not we've seen plenty of step marks on previous prints but this thing is really nicely packaged in here so you have these things that are kind of holding it like hands let's oh this is a so these guys have i'm cutting it off there their own tape with their decal on it which is pretty clever i've not seen that great branding i don't want to, it's gonna probably end up sticking on my desk and i won't be able to get it off okay so we have some mounting hardware and I see okay some little some little uh, velvet things here okay. round two <laughs> not even close okay I will give these guys credit. This company really takes their shipping or packaging serious. That was in there nicely. Okay, now we can see, oh, we have a little bit more branding on this side. We have that foam sheet wrapped around the print itself. Okay. All right, so this thing, again, I will say it again. This is really well wrapped. Oh, I remember this. Okay. This is a licensed image, not my own image. Um, I was looking for something, again, with some vibrant colors um, and large areas that I could actually take a look at to see if there's any wackiness going on with the printer or banding and so forth. Boy, this looks absolutely stunning these colors are really let's see if we can get away from there we go these colors are really just smacking you in the face and that's another thing that i chose this photo here is you have all these autumn colors that are behind us seeing that most of us are going through our winter months right now but the colors are absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, what I'm doing right now is I'm looking at colors. I'm looking at any sort of noise or just wackiness that might be going on. If a printer uh, has any, I mean, how they do this whole process is actually quite interesting. That is really... This looks really fantastic. Believe it or not, 
I've run my hands around the edges of these things. I've seen, had plenty of prints, and not plenty, but had a few where the edges were really sharp. Now, let's take a look at, oh, interesting. Okay, here's something I've not seen before. So they have, you have actually two choices of mounting hardware. So as we can see, taped to the back of this, you have your other cleat, which is gonna work well with the mounting hardware that they provided here. So they include one of those drywall cleats and you have a couple screws. And then on top of that, you have these little four little felt nubs, which are great to put on the corner. So again, if you're mounting this up against the wall, it just keeps the metal off of whatever wall that you have. But this looks, okay, we have Chromalux here. Um, that's right, so we have the hanging hardware here, which is absolutely fantastic. So now I'm looking at, so the one thing with metal prints is on the frames, unlike wood, wood is, a wood frame is forgiving. If you have cracks or your jig is not right when you're when you're building a frame for metal, it's, it's not forgivable because you're gonna see the cracks and so forth. And that's what I'm looking for here. I can tell you one thing, these corners look absolutely flawless. Now let's see if this thing is centered. See my share of ones that, where the frame sitting on the inside was not center. And again, we are literally pulling every little nook and cranny and you know, of course sharing that with you here okay we are that thing is that thing is pretty much dead center on the back of this print This looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, so as you can see here, they really did a fantastic job with not only the hardware on the back of this, but also all these, all these corners here really look fantastic. And then when you focus on the colors on this, this is really great representation of what a metal print should look like. Now, let's take a look at the scorecard for Pure Art Printer. All right, friends, well, there you go. This was another fun video, although I say that with these shootouts a lot because, you know, these are actually some of my favorite videos to put in front of you folks here because a print, this is something very personal and there's nothing worse than getting your expectations up. You make the order for a print and you can't wait for it to come in, whether it's for a client or it's for yourself. And it comes in and there's just imperfections. It's a letdown. That is... That's a big buzzkill. So something like a print where it's so personal like this, this is a treat to be able to share with you when you find those gems. And friends, Pure Printer, these guys created a gem here. Now what I'll do is I'll put all their contact information down below. And uh, again, I do want to repeat, this is not part of the 2023 shootout. Uh, you still have time. So if there's a company that you would like to see us review for this year, leave a comment below or send me a message and we'll be happy to take a look at it. But it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you to do all the YouTube stuff because we really appreciate it. So you found some value with this video friend hit that like button subscribe button and so therefore you don't miss a single video like the one that you just saw here or perhaps the 2023 uh, shootouts again we have canvas metal and we have acrylic coming up this year so you're going to want to stay tuned for that so when you hit the all notifications you're surely not going to miss any of those coming up that said friends you get out there stay healthy and take your best shot